Ah, Black Mesa. Probably one of the best looking Source Engine games you can play today, especially its Zen levels are quite stunning to look at. But you know, with all this eye candy also comes demanding system specs. And even in 2024, some people might be settled up with their grandma's old solitaire machine, or just a laptop or a computer that they have owned for a very, very long time. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you can do whatever you want to do with it. But playing Black Mesa on such a machine might be hard, and that's where this mod for the original Half-Life comes in. It's called Black Mesa Classic, and it aims to recreate the experience of Black Mesa in the Gold Source engine. At least, for the most part. I talked about this mod back in 2022 when they released their We've Got Hostiles demo and you guys seem to really like that video. So I'm pleased to say we've worked together with the Black Mesa Classic team to bring you an exclusive first look at their new Office Complex demo, which is available now. Roll that intro. Lambda Federation. Let's first reintroduce this mod for the people who haven't heard about it yet. Black Mesa Classic is a mod for the original Half-Life that is being developed by a Lambda team, the same team that is also working on another mod called Half-Life Hostile Takeover. It aims to recreate the experience of Black Mesa into the Gold Source engine, giving more people who don't have the machines capable of playing Black Mesa a chance to at least experience some of it in some form. But the mod doesn't necessarily want to be a completely faithful recreation either. The team uses mostly textures that can be found in the original Half-Life and its expansions, mixed in with a few original creations. And in terms of layouts and detailing, they have gone a little bit more creative as well, sometimes out of necessity as they're working with a less advanced engine, and sometimes because they just feel like they can improve upon the source material to make it a more unique experience on its own. The mod has been in development for quite some time now. I remember covering it in the early days of all things Lambda, like back in 2018, which is well over five years ago now. I know I say it a lot, but time really flies, man. Back in mid-2022, they released their first public demo, which is a fully playable version of the We've Got Hostiles chapter, which was a pretty great achievement. If you want to learn more about that, I made a full video and a full playthrough on that chapter that you can check out after the video if you want to. And now we're in early 2024, which is quite some time after the first demo was released, and the Lambda team are now ready to share their next demo with us. I have been given exclusive access to this demo way before anyone else got their hands on it, and I'm about to show you my opinions on it. And after that, I may have some more exclusive content to show you, so whatever you do, stay tuned. Do note that what you're about to see is a development build, so a lot of it is still work in progress. I've already been in talks with the developers to fix a few issues that I came across during my playthrough, so hopefully by the time this video and the mod comes out, it has been fixed. So just know that if you notice something a bit weird in the footage, it's most likely to be fixed by the time this video and the demo are out. So I'm... <clears throat> I'm hoarse. So I'm not going to run you guys through the entirety of the chapter here. I think most of you Half-Life fans probably already know how Office Complex plays. The dingy office corridors, the maintenance areas and elevators, the cafeteria, and of course, the freezer. And if you have played the Black Mesa version of it, then you'll probably be very familiar with what you're about to see. The Office Complex chapter has been entirely transformed to look almost exactly like what the chapter looks and plays like in Black Mesa. Most of Black Mesa's additions to the level design are here, and it comes pretty close in geometric detail as well. It's not entirely the same as Black Mesa's Office Complex chapter, but it does come pretty close. Aw, oh, hey look, they even implemented the emergency broadcast radio from Black Mesa here. And the curved brick wall that is broken near the cafeteria has also been lovingly recreated. Even railings on some catwalks are now 3D models instead of them being brushes with transparent textures applied to them. Nice touches like these can be found throughout the entirety of this demo. And there are also a bunch of easter eggs to be found from your favorite YouTubers, including us! You... you like us, right? Right? The models for enemies and NPCs have also been updated from the previous demo to be higher fidelity. And I think they mostly look alright, albeit a bit out of place looking sometimes, especially with their newly updated Black Mesa-like animations. But hey, both Barney and the scientists can have random face models and skin tones, so that's pretty great. 
there's even a female scientist now, even though she does still have the regular scientist voice, but much higher pitched. Which actually sounds hilarious. You are from the anomalous materials lab, yes, I recognize you. The enemies look pretty nice though, except for the Vortigons. I think they look a little bit too smooth for my liking. And the Bull Squid's attack has been updated as well with this really nice looking spitting effect. Especially in the dark, this just looks cool. The gameplay overall is also pretty decent. While not being too different from what you're used to from Half-Life, it does have some aces up its sleeves. You now have to hold down shift in order to sprint, for example, just like in Black Mesa. And you cannot sprint forever, it seems, because you have this bar at the bottom of the screen that shows you how much stamina you have left. That is actually different from what Black Mesa does, because Black Mesa lets you sprint infinitely. Another thing you may have noticed as well are these numbers that come off of the enemies as I shoot them. These numbers show how much damage you're dealing to an enemy. Handy for some, but I honestly find it to be pretty distracting. Luckily though, you can turn this and the stamina system off in the advanced settings menu alongside a bunch of other things you can tweak about the gameplay. And this menu has entirely been sourcified along with the rest of the mod's main menu, now including a live background just like what Source games would have. Quite neat. One thing that is different from the previous demo as well is that there is now visible recoil for guns, so weapons handle a little bit more realistically now. Oh, and Barney can now actually shoot barnacles, which is pretty handy because there are a lot of them in this chapter. I did also notice that the headcrabs seem to be much faster at leaping at you. If you encounter two or more headcrabs, they can be quick to drain your health if you don't deal with them as fast as possible. Truly a nearly harmless alone but dangerous in numbers moment. Now, if you have seen our previous video on this mod, then you may have noticed something. Where are all the fancy effects that Black Mesa Classic used to have? Where are all the particle-rich explosive effects? Where is the source-like flashlight? Well, it's all gone from this version. I asked the development team about why they got rid of these effects, and it seems to be because they caused a lot of problems. The effects were achieved by the Trinity engine, which is a replacement for Gold Source's standard model and world renderer that allows for more advanced effects. Apparently the devs encountered a lot of problems with the Trinity engine, and just decided to scrap its usage entirely. Now, while that does seem unfortunate as we had to say goodbye to all those cool effects, we do have better performance in its place, among other things. And the team has been hard at work to try and replace some of the lost effects with more standard gold source replacements. Like the brighter flashlight effect that we now have, and the new smoke effects that you get when you shoot different kinds of walls. Not entirely sure if I'm super into these effects though. So, in conclusion, I think that Black Mesa Classic's Office Complex demo is a good step forward towards cohesion and overall style, even though it had to take a step back in some of the effects. The team has told me that this demo shows in a more definitive way what they want to achieve with the mod in the long run. They're even going back to the We've Got Hostiles demo at some point to bring that more in line with what this demo is doing, so I'm looking forward to that. Before I end this video, I did promise some more stuff to show you from the Black Mesa Classic team, now didn't I? They sent me a plethora of screenshots from some of the other chapters that they've been working on. These screenshots come from the Black Mesa Inbound chapter, the Anomalous Materials chapter, and the Blast Pit chapter. And they look pretty great, basically Black Mesa, but if it was built on the Gold Source engine. The team has already told me that they're already working on a new build of the mod that will include six whole chapters, from Black Mesa Inbound all the way up to Blast Pit. But when that demo will end up coming out is still unknown. They are working incredibly hard to get it done though. I was also given some renders of the weapon models and scenes that they used in this demo, from the crowbar to the spaz and the clock. We get to see them all. And we also have this classic HEV suit hands rendered too, which shows us a HEV suit that is a nice mix between the classic one and the Black Mesa one. So that's pretty neat. And lastly, they asked me if I could kindly ask all of you if there are any people out there that could help them out, especially on the animation, modeling, and mapping side of things. If you think you can help out with that, then get in touch with them by joining their Discord server and by contacting either Greppy or Firefox. And that's it for now for a Black Mesa Classic. What do you think? Do you want to play this demo right now, or do you think you'll give it a pass? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the video if you enjoyed it and want to see more of this type of stuff. Always appreciate the interaction. 
Lastly, I'd like to thank the Black Mesa Classic team for reaching out to us to do this video. It was great working together. I wish them the best of luck with their mod, they definitely got some great stuff here. It just needs a few tweaks here and there. Alright, now you have my permission to click away the video so you can play the Office Complex demo. Go ahead, download it now. It's not that long anyway, so you won't regret it.